Hey guys, my name is Bill and I'm the writer, director and filmmaker of Shadow Warriors, our martial arts short film. Uh, welcome to part two of my director's commentary. Uh, apologies for the delay, it took a little while longer than uh, anticipated. But uh, we're here now and uh, I'm going to take it from where I left off in part one. If you haven't seen part one yet, uh, I would suggest uh, you go and do that first. Um, without any further delay, let's get crack a lacking. Right, so... Uh, we've established that our characters have uh, caught Chen uh, in the alley and uh, we're taking it from there. So here we go. Samuel Mack, Linda Louise Duan, Blake Ritter. Oh, that makes me laugh a bit. Anyway, let's continue. Right, I'm going to pause it right there. That gesture between um, Sam and Linda, right? That's that's actually a hat tip uh, taken from uh, Big Trouble in Little China. Uh, if you haven't seen that film, uh, where have you been all your life? And uh, rectify that shit immediately. Um, there's basically a sequence uh, in the movie where one of the characters, Wang, is fighting uh, one of the bad guys, and they 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 come to a pause, and they're kind of facing off, and then the bad guy kind of um, I wouldn't say impressed, but he's kind of like taken aback with the skill set of Wing. He kind of looks him up and down, and uh, Wing just gives him the old bouncing eyebrows. And uh, this is this is where the hat tip comes in. So it's 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 kind of like this. Here we go, looking up and down, down and up, eyebrow bounce, and let's dance. Right, I'll pause it right there again. Okay, there's, uh, for anyone that's kind of like um, into their old school kind of movies, when I say old school, like from the 80s, etc., that's another hat tip right there. This particular sequence here, where Chen gets his ass handed to him by Linda. There, that shot there, right there. Uh, that's another hat tip uh, to a sequence in um, Back to the Future, the original Back to the Future. Um, where Biff, uh, the main antagonist in Back to the Future, gets knocked the fuck out um, by Marty McFly's dad. I can't remember his name. It's just completely gone off the top of my head at the moment. But there's, it's, it's, it's kind of like a, it's a shot for shot match, and I really, really love that movie, and I really wanted to get that in there. So this, this particular sequence where Linda throws the left hook. Uh, there we go. That, that's, that's a shot for shot match. Um, I've actually got a comparison, uh, which I posted up on uh, the Shadow Warriors Instagram page a little while back um, of the two shots uh, together, side by side comparison. So if you want to check that out, you can go and check that out. Um, I'm just going to take that back a little bit um, uh, to the start of the fight. The choreography for this, <laughs> that's not a really good shot of Sam, is it? And let me just take that back a little bit. Oh, there we go. Hey, Sam. Uh, the choreography for uh, the, the fight sequence here was done by Sam, Samuel Mack, um, Wushu champion. Uh, the, the only direction that I gave was that I wanted something uh, pretty simple, like kind of old school Jackie Chan style. Nothing shaky, nothing too over the top, nothing technical. Um, just put a series of moves and blocks, etc. And uh, this, is, this is basically what Sam come up with. Uh, rehearsal wise, we had, I think off the top of my brain, or memory, I should say, off the top. How does that work? How does off the top of your brain work? Uh, I think we had a, a total of three rehearsals. Uh, two, um, God, I can't even remember now. Um, one was in a rehearsal hall um, arranged by our lovely producer, Sue Cole. And I think, I think we actually had two locations, uh, sorry, two uh, rehearsals um, on, on site. I really can't remember. Anyway, so the, the total of three, uh, three, lo uh, uh, three rehearsals. Um, the previs was done on um, the iPhone. I recorded Samuel going through the um, the choreography with the guys and uh, put a sequence together, and uh, so we could see what was going on. And it looked uh, looked good to me. And this is how we shot it, uh, shot for shot. Um, so I'll take that from the start again. Uh, 
Bye bye, Chen. Boom. That's it. You've made uh you've made Linda mad. This sequence right here, coming up right now. This shot. There you go. That was all Linda. That was all Linda. <laughs> I'm going to pause that there. Um, when we were in rehearsals on site, <clears throat> on location, I should say, um, we were going through the uh, the choreography, and um, I think the initial direction was that um, you basically punch him in the gut, and that was it. And she did it, and then she done this move where she kind of uh, dropped to her knee and just popped the finger, and it made me laugh so hard. Brilliant bit of uh, improv by uh, Linda there. That uh, was a great job there. Um, I just want to show you guys again. Here we go. So, yeah. Boom, into the stomach. Ah. Linda with the finger. <laughs> oh, made me laugh. And that's it. Okay. Um, a little behind the scenes uh, info there. The, the police siren... Uh, or the light, I should say. We actually achieved that uh, through, I think, uh, we had a roto light. And one of the sequences on the roto lights is that you get this kind of uh, uh, police flashing light um, sequence, whatever it is. And that's, that's how we achieved that. This was about three o'clock in the morning. It was so late, so fucking late. So basically, we wrapped um, Shadow Warriors about uh, 3 a.m., 3 o'clock in the morning. Um, this was the final shot, and it, we, we, we basically got it in two takes. And I think this must have been the second take. And uh, everyone was pretty much uh, smashed at that point, but, you know, it was the, the last take, the last shot. And um, if you ever heard the, the actual, uh, the raw recording of this, uh, you kind of hear me getting a little bit excited um, at how Blake kind of smashed <laughs> this particular this particular uh, sequence two takes two takes and he smashed it well done Blake And we cut to a new shot. Boom. Okay, what else would you like to know about the previous shot? Um, the previous shot. Okay, one more little bit of tidbit there. Okay. This shot here. No follow focus, no nothing like that. This was all uh, pulled focus on the fly. Uh, my cinematographer, Luke Roberts, was operating camera. And I was just pulling focus straight off the lens. And so... You know, when you haven't got um, a certain level of budget and stuff like that, you just have to do what you need to do to get the shot. So this shot here, this one again, back to this one. Luke's pushing forward with the camera, and I'm just racking focus with my hand on the lens. I think we did a pretty, pretty good job there. Everything seems to be in focus, uh, to my eyes anyway. Okay, right. Let's go into the next scene. That was day one. This is day two. This was shot in um, in the kitchen. Hang on. Yeah, this was um, this was day two, and uh, this was shot in a kitchen. Big thanks to Elliot, uh, Elliot Murray, Philip Murray, um, for allowing us to come into his home and recording this. And um, this particular sequence here was a day for night uh, shot, which you can probably tell. Jibbing up. The final reveal, brother and sister. Dun, dun, dun. 
<laughs> yeah, I, I kind of like that um, the little twist. Um, so basically, these these rivals, uh, we 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 don't actually see their backstory or anything like that. Um, but these rivals have been rivals for a while, and then they're kind of vigilantes going out there and trying to make the world a better place. Um, they just see us each other as rivals, but they end up being brother and sister, which is a uh, which I thought was a pretty cool twist. Um, and that's it. That's it for Shadow Warriors. Um, if there's anything else you would like to know um, about how we shot the sequences or um, what we did for sound, etc., um, leave a comment in the comment section below, and I'll we'll try to answer it as best I can. So, hopefully, that was a little bit insightful. Um, sorry, I left it a little bit late, but um, you know these things happen. And uh, yeah, that's it from me. Until next time, take care. In a world, <laughs> no, I was just about to go into one there. I'm not going to go to it. Two vigilantes out to rid the world. Ah, <laughs> uh, dear lord. Okay. For anyone who stayed, uh, who stayed uh, a little bit longer than they should have done, I apologise. That was absolutely ridiculous. But yeah, there you go. Have some credits there. Um, that's it from me, for definite. I feel like one of them uh, radio disc jockeys or whatnot. Not a dick jockey, a disc jockey. <laughs> Until next time.